USC has won seven straight Pac-10 titles and seven straight against the Washington Huskies. They start the defense of both of those streaks on Saturday. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Welcome to the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Any Tizers, the third-ranked Trojans on the road for a second straight week this week at Washington after last weekend's win in Columbus against Ohio State. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman to break this down. And uh, Spencer, you look at this game, and, and yes, obviously we'll get into this USC game coming off the Ohio State win, but uh, Washington's a team that finally broke the skid. They won a game last weekend. Will this be closer than a lot of people are picking? Well, I think it will be. I mean, I think the casual fan will look at this and say it's going to be a blowout, and they'll be looking at last year's result and last year's Huskies team. But this is a totally different team, totally different coaches. And I think the key, and hopefully we'll get into this, has to do with your offensive coordinator and, of course, head coach Steve Sarkeesian and, uh, you know, the defensive coordinator that he brought over from USC, Nick Holt. Those are going to be really key to the outcome of this ball game. It'll be much closer than most people anticipate. Espez, what, what kind of role does that play in this game, the fact that last year's offensive and defensive coordinators that you just mentioned are now roaming the mm -hmm. Washington sidelines? Well, there's an old expression that familiarity breeds contempt, and I think the familiarity of those two offensive and defensive coordinators with the USC style and their system, combined with a, a young quarterback for USC, uh, I think they'll find some things that they can exploit. And I think that comfortability is really what's going to give them the established confidence necessary to go in and compete on a fairly level playing field. And again, I would not be surprised if there's only 10 or 12 points separating uh, the outcome of this ball game because of that familiarity. And you know the fact that these Washington players are going to be geeked up for this game too because yeah. of the fact that the, the schools lost seven straight to USC and because of the fact That's that the right. coaches are there on this sideline. Let's get into the Trojans a little bit. Big win come from behind last week and the Matt Barkley legend kind of blew up. Yeah. He's banged up. Taylor Mays is banged up. How big are both of those if either of those players can't go this weekend? Well, it's going to be huge if he can't go the distance again. Uh, I think what we found out is the kid can play on a big stage in difficult situations. That's another form of a test. This test is how well do you play when you're banged up mentally, psychologically, physically, and then when the weapons that allowed you to have that wild success in your opener, or at least the one on the road for them against Ohio State in, in the horseshoe, over 100,000 saw that. How do you respond in a different context? So we'll see if youth is his advantage or disadvantage. And again, it's one more stepping stone in the legend of this young Young Matt Barkley. Yeah, uh, one drive, but you know, I think what's kind of been left in the wayside here is the fact that yes, he made a couple of key plays and some key throws, but let's not forget that Joe McKnight was a big reason yeah. that they were able to get down the field and, and beat Ohio State in that game. He, he deserves a lot of credit here, too. Well, and we said that. Remember, again, this was that vaunted recruiting class three, four years ago that everyone was talking about. They had like four or five parade All-Americans in that bunch. And they, start, along with Gable, they really started to show dividends. And I think Joe McKnight was chief among them. Uh, he was still running a little bit too high for me. The kid makes me nervous. I, you know, Todd McNair is a running back coach, old teammate of mine years ago. And he's still working on that aspect of his game. But I think uh, as a whole, this running back unit is going to have to keep them stable. And again, with Barclay nicked up a little bit, I think the key to their success rests with that running back. Unit. All right, Spence, uh, if Washington is to break the streak here, what has to be the key? They got to create uh, turnovers and they got to leverage the intellectual property of Nick Holt, the defensive coordinator, and Steve Sarkeesian, offensive coordinator, head coach. That's what they've got to do. It's as simple as that. To the degree that they can leverage that and then keep USC's offense off the football field, that increases their opportunity to keep it close exponentially. They won't win, but it's going to be much closer than the uh, Trojan fans want it to be. Well, at least they got that knowledge that they have an uh, ability to win. Right. Last week's win against Idaho mm -hmm. broke a 15 game losing streak. And no Pac-10 team has ever lost 16 in a row. Spencer T., thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Jason. We'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, be sure to stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.